Hello and welcome back to Mega Man 2. Let's get these last two guys out of the way. We're going to do Flash Man because Quick Man is weak against Flash Man's weapon. In fact, I think I believe he is the only robot master that Flash Man's weapon even works on. So keep that in mind. And uh, a lot of the stage involves you having Crash Man's weapon. And it's a very slippery floor, despite the fact there's no reason for the floor to be slippery. It just is. Don't, don't, don't ex try to explain it. And every time you get hit, you react uh, to the slippery platformness of it all, and fall off. Which sucks a lot. But that's okay. I got a 1-up. So everything is fine. And you can't switch uh, items while the platforms are out, which is something worth noting. Because it will become a factor later on in the game. Is that foreshadowing, perhaps? I believe it is. Anyway, I took this path because uh, I don't want to fight that thing. I just don't. Fine, it sucks, so I'm not doing it. Nope. And of course, more... Crash. Uh -huh. Okay, you're supposed to jump there. In case you didn't, <laughs> didn't realize that from my sound of dismay when I didn't make the jump, you're supposed to jump there. Whoa! And uh, the slipperiness of the level tricked me again. Uh, dang it. Okay, I still made it. That's good. Uh, and I fell on me off immediately. Ugh. I'm doing just. Item 2 will not help me here. I'm doing really badly right now. Which I do not. I blame the slippery floors. Those dang slippery floors. Somebody. Somebody needs to tell him, tell uh, Flash Man that, that thematically slippery floors do not meet what he does. He freezes time. That has nothing to do with slippery floors at all. However, if you stop and then jump. You will stop sliding. See? Like that. Just let you know. And I would give a crap about using all of Crash Man's weapon when he is so obviously weak against Crash Man's weapon. At least I think he is. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Why not? However, I don't care. Uh, you can usually Mega Buster him. In fact, uh, I think he's one of the Relic Masters that are easier to, to, to do like this because he does react to the Flash, uh, the, the Mega Busters, uh, so well. However, if you walk into the corner like that, you will get screwed. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, he's fairly easy to Mega Buster once you get him down, because uh, he jumps when you shoot him, so you can make him jump over you. A little bit of helpful things to have. However, he changes direction every time you shoot him, and the slippery floor makes him really difficult. Uh, the big thing to him is learning when he is going to freeze time, and I am sick of this shit. So, he's fairly looking at some Metal Man's weapon, so just use Metal Man's weapon on him. I was trying to show you how to make a buster, and I fail horribly. Uh, I used to be able to do it fairly reliably, <laughs> but uh, I, I just can't. <laughs> Uh, I don't have enough practice against him, and the slippery floor just kills me. But anyway, we have item 3 now, which is the wall climbing item. Uh, sorry about that slight technical difficulty. But anyways, let's do the last robot master, which is Quick Man. Uh, his stage is a lot about memorization. <laughs> memorization and timing. That is his stage. Uh, it's not incredibly difficult after you figure out the patterns that you're supposed to watch out for. However, being as I did not study, study the stage as much as I probably should have, I might die a couple times. I'm gonna say it just might happen. It's conceivable. And I have to take the hard path, or the path that doesn't give me an E take and the one up. Uh, yeah, keep that in mind if you ever 
want to do it. I, uh, on the other hand, I think... Uh, I've got a fair amount of E-Tanks, so... I'm fine. But if you need E-Tanks e and 1-Ups, that would be the route you'd probably want to go. And a, a for lights. Lights are good. Alright, uh, let's give that another shot. <laughs> I got a little greedy and uh, tried to grab the one up here, which I can never do. But I did it anyway, and I failed for it. So, let's just do this the right way. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to save this item for Quick Man, because... Uh, I don't know, I just I can't get down the pattern of killing him. Uh, correctly, and the one up would have been there on that one ledge. But I don't know. I, I just cannot. I cannot get Quick Man down with just the Mega Buster. I don't know. It, it's probably just like because I didn't practice enough. But I just can't. So we're just gonna rapid fire these guys down, jump over because they don't chase you like the other sniper goes. Oh, and don't. Oh crap. Okay. I was just going to say, don't go backwards for anything, and I got knocked backwards, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here is Quick Man, who is, of course, as the name implies, really quick. Uh, this right here would kill him in normal mode, however, since it's difficult mode, he takes half damage from everything. So it will only take him to half, you have to kill him the rest of the way with the Mega Buster, which is... Not too hard, but I'm probably going to die and like an idiot. Oh yeah, I'm going to die. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> okay. See, I, I'm I'm just not that good at quick, man. Don't know why, I'm just not. But anyways, that is our eight robot masters down. And we have the quick boomerang, which is incredibly useful. Most of the wily bosses will require it. Will be weak against it. So, anyways, there's Wily, and that's it for this video of Mega Man 2. Later on, we will be taking on the Wily stages in his giant skull castle thing. So, see you then.